Hey guys, it's Timmy here. Today I'm going to be showing you the top apps I use on my Android device. Now I have over 400 apps on my Android device, but I'm going to narrow it down just to five simple, easy apps. Now most of these apps are root needed and some of these apps you can't get them from the Play Store. So I'm just going to be showing you guys how to install it and reviewing them. So without any further ado, let's be guys with you. Alright guys, so I'm going to be showing you guys my top 5 apps that I use. So let's start it off with GameCIH. Now GameCIH is a game cheat, a memory editor, a crack slash hack tool. And what this does is you go into any random game with any stats or any scores and um, you could just edit the game stats like the game scores, the money, the HP. So um, right when you open up the app it's going to take you here and what this is is um, the headquarters you must say. So the hotkey is when you want to open the toolbar so if you tap on that it's going to say press any key. Now I do recommend a key that you don't really use so for example if you have a camera key use that so I use the focus one um, right there, the toolbar, I'm going to be showing you guys what that is in a minute. So for now, just leave it alone. So yeah, once you're done, just press back or press home. And once you press home, you're going to see that there's a toolbar on your home screen. Um, now this toolbar never goes away, it always stays there. And you can hide it by pressing that arrow. And um, it's right there. Now you, all you have to do now is just go into a random game. I'm just going to go into Temple Run. And right off the back, I just went into the store. And right there I have zero coins. Now to change that, what I gotta do is I gotta press on the toolbar and you see that little magnifying glass? Yeah, you wanna click on that and it's gonna open up this. Now it's gonna say input number, low level analysis, and input name. So just put, just put input number. And you just wanna search that number that you have, the stats, the HP, or whatever. And um, once you search that up, what you're going to see is the fact that you have over a lot of numbers. Now, um, I'm just going to play the game here. Right there, I died. Now, um, I got 70 coins. I want to go back into the search bar thing, and I want to tap on input number. Now, once again, you're going to type in the number that you just got. In the same number, do not, do not go into a different stat. Just be on the same stat until you change it. So there you go, it has narrowed it down to 6,000 numbers. Now you just wanna go back and try to narrow it down. All right, there you go, I died. So um, let's go to the store. Right there I have 142, let's search that again. Right there, two numbers. So um, you wanna type in the how many numbers you want. So I'm just gonna press 99 million. So, there you go. I typed in 99 million. Uh, now I just want to lock it by pressing the lock and it's going to automatically lock it. If you have another number, then go ahead and change that as well. It's not going to hurt anyone. Um, so just modify that one and then there you go. Now you just want to go back. And then you see nothing changed. But then when you buy something, it changes automatically. Um, so there I hacked the coins and you can see that that is not the average amount of coins. So um, I could hack as many things as I want. Link is in the description to download. Next up I got Mobilism. This app, you can get paid apps for free. Now this is a black market. Um, it's actually pretty cool. One of the best black markets I have found. Um, no advertisements, no nothing of that. Um, pretty smooth. Fastest black market I've found so far. 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 The only time it was down was when um, the server was going bad, but that was only once. And other black markets are just bad. So um, here it is. So they have a bunch of apps. They have over, I would say, 50,000 apps, um, and that's probably in a month because they upload so many apps. I mean, literally, they have over. 505 pages of apps and that are the and that's the latest releases so you can see that um, all of these is one page that's one page now that is just the apps now you can get into the moot into the games um, these are all the games that they have you can get into the movies 
pretty cool about the movies is that they have cool movies like for example the Hunger Games pretty cool um, so you can download those and watch free movies ebooks they also have ebooks so all of these are um, ebooks that you can read also the fact that if you go into platforms you also have GPS navigations GPS releases search that up they have a bunch here but I'm just gonna go into running Fred and um, I actually did review this game it's actually pretty nice now uh, it tells you the requirements the overview is the description and download instructions down there this is the good part now download instructions it tells you the websites and it could be up to like 10 websites and um, down there you see two green buttons and one mobilism icon so the green buttons when you tap on that it takes you to the website and um, so for example let me just tap on this one it wants me to go into the default browser and just download it from the default browser but if you get the paid version which costs twenty dollars a year and you, then you get that mobilism icon and um, you could directly download it from mobilism for free. Why not go check it out? Link is in the description to download. So next up I got TechBuzz. Now TechBuzz is one of those applications that I use to get my ideas from on my YouTube videos. Now it is a widget. So um, let me just go to the widget. Alright, so I'm um, right there. There it is. If you tap on the little gear, you can choose what content you want. So I mainly use Android because I want to know all the news about Android. And then it updates the app and then you have the latest news on Android. If you tap on it, it opens up a little window and then you can slide your finger to the left or to the right to go through the pages. Now here it tells you the title, it gives you a little description on it, and if it doesn't give you all the description, then go all the way to the bottom and there's a link to the official website that there is. So it's pretty cool. Um, it also has pictures on the top so you can see what the user is talking about. So there you go. Uh, it has great websites, for example, it has Android Police, Android Central, it has Talk Android. So yeah, go check it out, Read the Android Market, link is in the description. Next up I have AP Android. Now AP Android I did not use a lot till recently because this app helps you save battery a lot. So it also helps you prevent unwanted data charges for limited data plans. Now what this does, it's really simple, open up the app and there it is, it says off. There's a switch to turn on and off the coverage. Now the coverage, it takes up a lot and a lot of battery, guys. It's pretty simple. Um, it actually does cost $1.99 in the end market. You need 1.5 or higher, so it works on every end of device uh, out there. So um, AP Android is pretty cool. It helps you save battery a lot. I have a link in the description for the Google Play Store link and uh, just search it up, yeah. Last but not least, I got Wi-Fi Kill. This app does require root, um, so make sure you have root on your device. But what it does is you could turn off everyone's Wi-Fi. Now, um, I know that seems a little evil, but sometimes you just have to do it because everyone is taking up the Wi-Fi and it just gets really annoying and the Wi-Fi slows down and you can't get on the internet. So for example, this would be great for the airport or Starbucks or any public place and it's just hilarious to watch people freak out on their what on their desktop and be like what happened to my browser so right there you have to be connected to the Wi-Fi obviously and once you're connected you just press on it's gonna ask you for root accept it and um, right there it's just gonna search for devices that are on the Wi-Fi and uh, it's gonna give you a bunch of IP addresses so you can turn off the Wi-Fi and right there so far I have found four devices and four are on and uh, zero are off. Now if I check them, they are going to be turned off and then it's going to say down here, four are off. That means every single device that has on the screen is off. If you really want to see people freak out, this is the app to go with. Uh, I'll have a link in the description to go download it. So um, yeah, these are the top apps I use, guys. They're pretty simple, pretty easy. Um, yeah, I, I do use these a lot. Also, I wanted to give a shout out to my buddies at the Droid People. They're pretty cool. Um, it's just one guy. He loves Android and he sticks with Android. So um, go show him love and subscribe to him as well. He's been doing a lot of work on his Android device. He does a bunch of reviews on like, uh, not even like 
software, just on hardware and software at the same time. So pretty cool. I'll have a link in the description for that. Or um, just look up the Droid People, aka the Omni. So um, I like his effects. Uh, you know what's pretty funny? He has the same camera as me. And uh, go subscribe to him and just like his page. So yeah. These are the top apps I use on my Android device. Thank you guys for watching. I'll be seeing you guys in the next video. Make sure you subscribe to How Two Men. Follow us on Twitter. Like us on Facebook. Um, also, go check out our last video, new black market video uh, contest. Also, so be checking that out. And um, yeah, thank you guys for watching. Thank you for letting me get 5,000 subscriber guys and 2 million likes at the same time. That was pretty awesome. I love you guys. This is so great. And. Um, yeah, thank you guys for spreading the word. I love you all, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Kapow!